Hi and welcome again here from the Augmented World Expo 2019 in Munich. Behind me, what you can see here, that is the booth of Vario. And Vario, they are a company from Finland and they are making headsets for the enterprise. Enterprise headsets with a very high resolution. Actually, it's a human eye resolution and they achieve that by building in two screens per eye into the headsets. One is like a very, very high resolution. They say human eye resolution, and I can agree. You don't see any pixels at all. And the context display, which is also of a high resolution, but not as high as the focus display. And here on the Augmented World Expo 2019, they are showing the second version, the Vario VR2, and I'm really looking forward to try it. There are, there are different kind of improvements, and one improvement that they say is that you cannot see um, the borders between the context display and the uh, and the high focus display anymore. That was one problem of the VR1 version. Also, now their headset is completely um, compatible with OpenVR. So yeah, you can play all of your Steam VR applications. You can uh, use everything that you can also use on other headsets, but now with a very high resolution. You still cannot use that focus display for Steam VR, but if you want to make use of this then you would use their own SDK. And well, now I'm going to try out the headset and then later I'm going to let you know what I think of it and if there is a big improvement over the VR1. What I see right now, this is the VR2 already? This is a VR2 Pro. Okay, and what is the difference between the VR2 uh, Pro and the VR2? So the difference between VR2 and VR2 Pro is with this VR2 Pro that you are... Uh, that you have on your head, uh, it has hand tracking. Okay, hand tracking. Oh yeah, there's my hands. Wow. Can you show that on the on the yeah. screen? Yeah, I'm showing it. Wow. And then also I can do something like, oh, I can change the scenes. Yes. Nice. And um, yeah, so you're right. So um, for the VR1, I could see the, the difference between the focus display and the, wor the, the rest of the world, very clear. Yeah. But for the VR2, I can still see it because it's super sharp here in the center, yes. but I don't really see any so so clearly the frontier between them. So this is much this is way better. Wow. This is impressive. Wow. This is so clear. Nice. And the context screen also it has now a higher resolution than the VR2, uh, the VR1. It has the same, resolution, same resolution still. Wow, I, I still love the focus display. It's just, yeah, it's it's amazing. It's really amazing. And how many um, people? Um, what's the resolution of the of the focus display? So the focus or the dots per is, inch? Uh, Sixty pixels per degree. How many? Uh, 60, 60, 60, 0, okay, uh, 60 pixels per degree. Pixels and per degree. The context display is uh, 15 pixels per degree. Wow. So feel free to move around in the scene, like kind of a, if you see books, magazines, read the small text, squat. But how can I, is there, is there any way I can um, teleport? Well, only here with the hand tracking, it's kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> teleport! <laughs> How how do I do it? Oh no, with the with the blue blue but, oh, green buttons. Okay, but I can just change the scenes. Yeah, anyways, that's okay. Shall I help you with the headset? Oh. Do you want me to? Uh, I'm I'm still looking at things. Oh oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to see like just how clear it is. Sure. All right, so I've just tried the VR2 and the VR2 Pro myself, and I can simply tell you I'm coming away impressed from these two headsets. Definitely, definitely a big improvement over the VR1. I already like the VR1, especially, of course, the human eye um, display in the, in the focus area, but my problem was that you can really easily see the borders of it. Now, with the VR2, they have worked really hard on eliminating that border. You can hardly see it anymore. And yes, you can tell that in the middle still, it's way better, the resolution is way better, but you don't have this kind of hard edge that you had for the VR1. So definitely super big improvement. And um, yeah, very, very nice. 
Then also now you can you can use your VR, your Steam VR, and open VR content. Very important, I, I believe, for lots of people in the VR industry or in the in, in, enterprise who are already have their their apps and they simply want to run it on the Vario and now on the Vario VR two. They can do that now. So definitely amazing. Hand tracking now works perfect, just as you would expect it from a leap motion module. Really cool. I could use it uh, in order to, to navigate. So I had the navigation on my hands and I would navigate through the scenes like this. And that worked really nice. So Vario, definitely an amazing headset for all kinds of enterprise um, applications and for the pricing. Uh, the VR2 without the hand tracking costs 4,995 euros and the VR2 Pro with the advanced hand tracking will set you back 5,995 euros. So exciting for enterprise applications and that human eye display in the center, it's simply breathtaking. It's, it's just like, it feels like real real life, real world, since you cannot see any pixels anymore. And um, yeah, I'm coming away impressed here from Vario. And also they have the Vario XR1 in works. And what is this? The Vario XR1 is a device which has like two cameras, like, like height of cameras, and it will make this an augmented reality headset. And I believe that's super, super exciting. And I can't wait to try it out myself and uh, yeah, I have plans to visit Vario at their headquarter and try out, try out the extra one there. All right, if you want to get in touch with Vario and if you want to try the headsets, you can do so on their website. I believe it should be vario.com, <laughs> but I'm going to put the link to their website down into the description into the into the description box of this video below. I hope you enjoyed this video from Augmented World Expo 2019. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.